So for today's video, we are going to be talking about books that got me into a reading slump and books that got me out. I'm also going to be including books that if I wasn't a reading slump, these books would have gotten me out of it because they're just like, they're just that good. So the first book that we're going to be talking about is Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This book is basically about Evelyn Hugo and how she has seven husbands and basically like her side of the story because like obviously like the media really twisted a lot of things and like made it seem like they were different and she wanted to clear the air and actually tell her own story. The beginning was good. It's just throughout the middle and kind of the end I was just really bored of it and like nothing really juicy happened and I was really hoping that because because she was talking about the 60s or whatever time frame this was I thought it was gonna be really interesting because like this is like peak Hollywood the things that Evelyn Hugo went through with her husbands and just like her life in general or like Hollywood in general were just not something revolutionary like a lot of people went through like divorces people go through breakups like they go through all these things like even in Hollywood too like uh, actors have been open about like what they've gone through so it wasn't something that I haven't heard of this was like prime Hollywood and so I thought that it was going to be more juicy or just something else it's just it just felt very generic I don't know I got into a really bad reading slump because it took me a long time to finish this book because it was just really boring yeah the ending was good it's just it wasn't worth having to force myself to read this. I think that's really why I got into a reading slump was because I was forcing myself to finish. After I finished this, I like told myself that I wasn't going to do this again, where if I know I'm not gonna like a book, I'm not going to force myself. And this is, that's what I did with this. And it got me into really bad reading slump. I literally didn't read for about four months. Like it was just so bad. Like every book that I, touched every book that i tried to pick up tried to read just it wasn't working for me and so i kind of gave up i don't know if i'm ever gonna really read another one of her books because till because daisy jones was a different story because it was written more in a interview style so i knew that it was going to be a different type of writing but her other books it's just i want to read them i want to read malibu rising it's just i'm so afraid of her writing the next book that i read after evelyn hugo was reminders of him by colin hoover this book is basically about kenna and how she goes to jail for five years and she has a daughter but her daughter goes to her dead boyfriend's parents and they raise her and stuff like that and after she leaves like she gets out she tries to reconnect with her daughter but like there's like obstacles and things that happened i like kenna in the beginning but when you actually realize and like when you actually get into like what happened and why she was in jail for five years the way that she handled things it really put a bad taste in my mouth i after that i did not like kenna and if she did the things that she did i would never those the things that she the thing that she did was just unforgivable oh, i don't know it's such a hard topic to talk about it's just i'm not gonna get more into it it's just this was an okay book. After I read that one, I read The Way I Used to Be by Amber Smith. This horrible thing happens and she just has to go through life in high school and like growing up with this gigantic thing over her shoulder and she just doesn't know how to cope with it. <sighs> this got me in a bad reading slump. It was so sad. It deals with really, really heavy topics. The way that Amber wrote this book was so spot on. Like her anger the way that she copes with things the way that she talks to people the way that she just she goes through life there was no closure and i thought there was going to be because like part of me just wanted that wanted that for her and when it didn't it just and it just like ended abruptly i like i remember it very vividly because like i finished it at night i was really sad i was extremely extremely sad so if you guys are thinking about picking this book up i will just really suggest that you look up trigger warnings or just know that this is going to be a pretty heavy book i don't know like this book was just it was really sad and i just felt really empty afterwards so now the book that got me out of that reading slump was the girl girl's guide to murder now i devour devoured this book this book is basically about pip and how she's doing a school project about andy bell and how she was murdered by her boyfriend and how she doesn't believe that her boyfriend actually killed her and so she's going on like this investigation of like trying to solve the real like crime and who did it and so she also has the murder boyfriend 
brother and they like go on an adventure trying to figure out who actually killed Andy. This book literally burned something in me to just like continue reading because it was so good and like this kind of excitement you know how when you read a book and like you cannot put down and like you're reading really late at night because you're trying to finish and when you finish it it's so satisfying and you cannot wait to tell someone and then you actually realize that none of your friends actually have read this book or even read at all i remember reading this so much like i'll put some stories in here but i love this book so much i love pip i will always stand for her and i think about her almost every day because she has a special place in my heart the next book that kind of got me into a little bit of a reading slip was hooked by emily mcintyre this book is basically about hook and how he's trying to seek revenge on peter and he uses wendy as leverage and just like a way like a weapon to, to get revenge on him and like all these things happened i did cover this more on my march wrap up if you guys want to read that but so after i finished this book I couldn't really pick up another like romance because he kind of gave me the ick for every other like main character male kind of got me into a little bit of a reading slump but i was okay after two weeks i just had to get him out of my mind because the things that he would say the ways that he would describe anything i was just kind of like no <laughs> it was entertaining don't get me wrong it's just not my cup of tea next book that i read after that reading slump was number four ninth i also talked about this on my march wrap up if you guys want to see that but it was so so good i love this book so much i'm so glad that i picked this book up too like i said in my march wrap up i wish that the plot that happened at the end didn't happen because it was just such a wholesome cute little romance and i just felt like felon and ben were soulmates i know why it had to happen and i know that obviously colin hoover loves to punch me in the face i know that and i should have known that when i read this book and i know i shouldn't have been so happy <laughs> throughout like this entire book but i love this book so much the last book that got me into really bad reading stuff was the guest list by lucy foley i actually had to dnf this like I got in, like 100 pages in. I already had that mentality of like a book wasn't hitting. I was going to stop it after Ellen Hugo and this was it. It wasn't getting to the point. And I'm like, dude, like why is it taking so long to just get into the actual point? I don't know. Like I felt like this was dragging so, so much. I was just really mad. I was so mad at this book. I just couldn't believe that it was so boring and how these characters were just not hitting for me so i kind of got bored with reading a little bit after this book so i didn't pick up anything after this once i did pick up a book i read things we never got over i love this book so so much i will forever be a lucy score fan it's basically a small town romance about naomi and Knox, and she's a runaway bride and he's a grumpy guy who owns a bar and all these things happen she basically becomes a mom to her evil twins daughter and it's just it's so good i love this book so much it this if this book this book will always get me out of a reading sub i can tell you that right now always i want to include two books that if i was in a bad reading sub they would for sure be the books that get me out of it the first one is going to be the perfect marriage by javina geneva rose I actually read this a while back but i still think about this book so much this book is basically about sarah and adam and how he is a deadbeat kind of like writer and she is a really successful attorney and how he has an affair with his mistress and she ends up dead one night and he is the main suspect and then she ends up having to take his case and you know like be his attorney and just takes you through all of that and just <clears throat> the ending the way that wrapped up i can literally still think about this and it's probably been about a year and a half that i've read this i will never stop recommending this book i love this book so much my best friend actually i had to give this to her for christmas because i could not deal with her not reading this book or like not having this book on her bookshelf because it's so good this book is going to be another colleen hoover book which is literally my top favorite Colleen Hoover book November 9th and Layla are my top no other book from Colleen Hoover will always top these two so this is basically about Layla and Leeds Leeds is kind of like an up-and-coming like musician and so they like meet one day and he's like performing with his ex-band at Layla's sister's wedding and that's when they meet for the first time and when I think about them both meeting for the first time I'm like dang these two people are literal soulmates I've never read like a real real like soulmates type of like encounter for the first time so 
yeah it's basically about that and then like they get together they move in and then like something really bad happens and so after that accident they go back to the place where they first fell in love and like really like weird things are happening love this book if you haven't read this book 10 out of 10 recommend go get this so those are all the books that got me into a reading slump and got me out of a reading slump. I'm so glad that I like made this because I know that a lot of people get into that and I'm so excited that I get to recommend people books that maybe like they wouldn't read or they wanted to read but they weren't sure of. If you guys pick any of these books please let me know because I just love recommending books and like knowing that people are happy with what I recommended. So yeah let me know if you guys pick up any of these books or if you guys read them and you love them in the way that I do because I talk really highly about some of these books and let me know if you guys read them like even if you guys didn't enjoy them the way that I did let me know why. That concludes this video. I hope you guys like it and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.